What's going on, guys? It's Declaration. What's going Brian. on, peeps? And as you can see, we're working on the Cobalt. So I didn't really talk about this, but I haven't really been driving the Cobalt, um, especially because th th there's one glaring, glaring issue with it. Um, Brian, what was that issue? Um, it feels like the suspension's made out of uh, two by fours. That's the best good way of putting it. Uh, pretty much the ball joints were shot. Which, being front wheel drive and the front ball joints being shot, made for quite a sketchy ride. So, uh, we're addressing that today. And I do want to apologize for last week. Um, I was not in the best of shape, I um, had a kidney infection. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty much bedridden all last week. So we didn't do any filming. And this is me taking it easy. Out and out Brian there. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get cranking and get these. Uh, I bought whole new lower control arms because why not? Just make, make life easy. Welcome back, people. Brian, what's going on, peeps? How hard was that? Not too, not too bad. Yeah. So. A couple bolts. Yeah. A little mechanical agitation. <laughs> we didn't even need to use the fancy ball joint removal tool. Yeah. Which we need to make sure <laughs> as soon as we're done, we we'll take that back because that that cost me 150 bucks if I don't return it. So yeah, that's getting returned. Um, but yeah, it, we didn't even need the ball joint removal tool. It, it's one of those, the bolt holds into the group here. I'll show you, right here. So the bolt just retains the, so as soon as you pull the bolt out, this slides straight out. No problem. Yeah. So once that's done, we're gonna do the other side. Um, there's a couple other things that I got, I didn't tell you about that we have to fix on here. Really, really simple though. They're, they're common issues with uh, cobalts. Um, one is the turn signal. It sticks, like, if you put it on, like, left turn, it's going to stay on left turn. And you have to manually push it off. So I got a new turn signal stock, but it looks like it just literally plugs in. It's pretty, pretty simple. And um, I got key fobs because this car didn't have key fobs, but it should. And, yeah, we're going to program those, too. So pretty simple. So we're going to hop on the other side now.
Welcome back, people. Brian? What's up, peeps? So how long did the second one take us? Longer than the first one. <laughs> By a margin. Let, let me step back so I can yeah. see the full margin. <laughs> By yay margin. Yeah. So, for the people that aren't extremely familiar with the cobalts in their subframes, lower control arm, the rear bolt, it bolts through its the rear connector for the subframe. Typically, um, I imagine there's a welded nut on the back side of said subframe, uh, on the body, actually. Well, we didn't see a nut hit the ground, but there was no nut. <laughs> was there, Brian? No nut. It, it's probably in there somewhere. It'll probably rattle around for a while. Probably. So I had to go find a, uh, another uh, a nut for the bolt, except for that bolt. Uh, that thread pitch is unobtainium. That's the only way to explain it, unobtainium. Because I couldn't find a nut for that. So I had to go find another bolt and a nut that screwed onto the new bolt. And MVP right here had to make his hand do a U-turn in about that much space. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the most fun spot there. To thread it in. And then we managed to get it attached. So now, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the front suspension wasn't, the front subframe wasn't fully attached. <laughs> just from. I mean, there probably wasn't up there. It just, it's probably still there, just rattling around. Yeah. I think that bolt was tensioned in. Because it is under a lot of tension, anyways. But yeah, it wasn't actually bolted. It is now. So this is good. <laughs> now he's got to go drive it around. Make sure it doesn't rattle. Yeah. Eh, we got to do that. A little bit later. <laughs> I'm going to take a break. All right, welcome back, people. So you guys are going to be with me when I test the new suspension. Because... Uh, it's still creaky. Lower ball joints feel a little better. But I bet you my shocks are fucking shot, too. Yeah. Tell me what you liked or didn't like about the video and hit that like button if you liked it.